Speaker, the House and the Prime Minister will remember the case of my constituent Lola Ilisami, whose daughter is under threat of female genital mutilation from Lola's abusive ex-partner. I want to thank Channel 4 News and Cathy Newman for breaking the story, and I want to thank the Prime Minister for intervening and granting an 18-month reprieve. Lola now has temporary right to work, but no recourse to public funds if she cannot find a job. Long-term certainty is what this wee girl and this family needs. Will the Prime Minister look again at this case and allow Lola and her family to stay long-term in Livingston? Well, the Honourable Lady is right. Obviously, she raised this case before, and the Immigration Minister, as I understand it, was in touch with her, and as she has said to the House, I can confirm uh, that following a comprehensive and rigorous review, Ms Ilizami has now been granted leave to remain in the United Kingdom, as the Honourable Lady set out. I wanted to say something about the female genital mutilation issue, because she raised that and the concern about uh, the daughter and the threat that she might be under. This is an absolutely abhorrent crime. A lot has been done by the government to deal with the the FGM issue, but we cannot tolerate this practice, and our work to tackle FGM is an integral part of our Violence Against Women and Girls strategy, which we published in March last year. I think we all accept, though, that we do need to do more to ensure that young children are not, young girls are not, subject to this horrific abuse. Kelly Tolhurst.